Custom fields in Help Spot allow you to store additional structured data on each request. I have an example of a couple of custom fields here. Here I have one for a priority and another one for what server this problem is regarding. Custom fields are always going to be shown in this lower right hand side of the user interface. To set up a new custom field, we'll go to the admin area and then go to custom fields. Now it's important to note when we start talking about custom fields that custom fields are full-fledged fields inside of HelpSpot. This means that you can create filters, run reports, and triggers and automations all based on custom fields. So pretty much anything you can do with a standard field in HelpSpot, you can also do with a custom defined field. Now, if you wish to edit an existing custom field, you can always select one of those custom fields here up in the custom field list and make any changes to the settings that you want to. To create a new custom field, we'll use this form down below. Now, inside of HelpSpot, there are several types of custom fields, and we'll walk through each type here now. First, we have a predefined list, which is just a predefined list of values that the user can select from. Next, we have a drill down list, which is very similar, but allows us to have structured data on multiple levels. So for in this example, I can select OSX, and then I can select a specific version of OSX. A text field is just what it sounds like. It's just a single string of text that I can store. And a large text field is very similar, except it allows for multi-line text. The date field and date and time field give me a date picker that allows me to select a date and enter it into the field. The regular expression field is a special field that allows me to validate an input into a custom field. So for example, I could write a regular expression that would validate a zip code. I could then have the regular expression check this field and make sure that what is entered into this field is five digits long and only numbers. Any other input will be rejected and the user will be prompted to enter an appropriate value. An AJAX selection field is an advanced field that allows you to populate a text box based on data that's dynamically retrieved via AJAX. This field is helpful if you're wanting to integrate your custom fields with a third party data source. The checkbox gives me a single checkbox that I can either mark or leave blank. The numeric field simply is going to accept whole numbers as a value. And then the decimal field is going to accept numbers with a decimal accuracy. Let's go ahead and create a predefined list as an example. All right, now that I've selected my field type, I can go ahead and give the field a name. In this case, I'm going to use this predefined list to store the office that this particular request is about. All right, so now that my field has a name, I can start adding list items. Okay, now that I've added my values, the next option that I have is to select what categories I want this custom field to be visible for. Now custom fields can be attached to categories or I can also choose to make this custom field always visible across all categories. In this case, I'm gonna limit this to some selected categories. All right, now that I've selected my custom field visibility, I have a couple of other options that I can select. One, I can make this field required if the field is required, staff members will be required to put in a value for this field before they can save an update to the request. And I can also choose to show this custom field on the public request form. So when a customer is working in the portal and entering a new request, they will be prompted to enter a value for this custom field. Now my custom field has been created and I can start using it within HelpSpot.